Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today I want to talk a little bit about LED light strips. Uh, when I decided to light up my side locker and then later the cabinet that I'm building, I decided the easiest way to light them up decent was with these LED light strips. Basically it's an adhesive back tape with LEDs on the strip. You can cut them to length. So let's take a closer look at what we get with a kit. Well, you can see we got 3M tape, and each one of these yellow things is an LED. Here's a little closer look. And then there's also these copper terminals right here and you cut the LED at those copper terminals when you want to trim them to length. Now this roll would have had a connector like this soldered to it so you would get it connected like that. This particular connector came with a kit with a bunch of other connectors um, for customizing your installation. Those kits will come with butt connectors, 90 degree connectors, butt connectors with a wire on the end where you can solder two or more of them together. Maybe even some uh, hold downs. haven't really found a use for them because it's already adhesive back tape so it's been sticking pretty good. Usually you get a prep pad in the kit if you look close at the connectors, you'll see a pair of terminals when I open up the connector. And those terminals, you just lay the tape in there, get it underneath the terminals, and then clamp the connector closed to make a connection. And as you go along making these connections, you just got to observe polarity. I don't know if you can see it, but on the left is positive, on the right is negative and I just have to follow that through to the next strip of tape. Well, I didn't know about these connectors. That's actually an add-on kit to the base kit that I bought, which, by the way, comes with just a standard transformer, 12 volt, so that kind of opens up the possibilities. And that transformer has got a, let's find the end here, where is the end? Right here. Those standard connectors. So everything everything pushes together and um, it makes installation really just plug and play. If you don't have any custom design that you want to do. And that's kind of the point I'm going to make here in this video. Plan out your installation before you do it. When I did this side locker I didn't know what I was getting into and I just bought the cheapest kit I could find. That kit had a transformer and a power switch similar to this power switch up here and it's got a dimmer on it plus the on off button. So I went from the transformer which plugged into the power switch which plugged right directly into the LED light strip which is up in there. But what I wanted to do was go down both sides of the locker, but I wanted to come in from that hole in the back of the locker, which means I would have had to run a wire all the way down and out to one side and then start my lights and go around like this. Well, you know what I think of that. Bullshit detected. Take precaution. Yeah, that's bullshit. What I ended up having to do was start at this point and go all the way around. But to get around the bottom, I had to add this piece of steel. And if you look, I got the LEDs on the back side of that steel. But you know, I, I, when I take things in and out of here, the LEDs are protected by that. 
So when I went to illuminate this upper cabinet, these LEDs, I also wanted to add these LEDs all the way across the front. I wanted to do that in one kit. Well, what I discovered was some of these switch kits have dual outputs. And this particular kit came with two rolls of tape. So I have one roll of tape going up and doing the top, and one roll of tape sneaking underneath here, and doing these three rows on the bottom. Now that seemed to work out pretty good. Now, right away you might be thinking, well, do these things generate any heat? You can see we're at 59 degrees on the toolbox, and underneath here, we're at 67. So they get a little warm, but they don't get hot. So my point is, plan out your installation and buy the kit accordingly. But it might save some frustration. Now, you saw that I had three rows underneath here, and I started from here. That means I had to go all the way down, turn around, come all the way back, turn around, and go down, and then the tape just ends. But when you make that 90 degree turn, uh, you got a couple of options. And I'm just going to turn these off for a second here, and show you uh, on the top roll, I just kind of turned the tape over on itself and headed back the other direction. And that may or may not work, I don't know how long that is going to stay up there. I might just put a zip tie in place and hold it. But down below here, I did a couple of different things. Look at that. You'll see that there is a, a, connect, a connector with a bunch of wires coming out, and then it goes to another connector. So what you're looking at is two of these. The strip comes into this end. And then the other strip came into one just like this, and then I just soldered the ends together. That was one way to do it. On the other end, I tried it another way, and I used one of these 90 degree connectors like this, and I folded it over so it comes in and goes back out. So there's a lot of different possibilities. So how bright are these LEDs? Well, I can tell you that they're bright enough to nicely illuminate the keyboard on my laptop right here. They light up my toolbox drawers pretty nice. Uh, they're lighting up this tabletop. Uh, I worked out pretty good, I think. They're gonna, once this cabinet is skinned in, they're gonna light up the inside of that quite well. In fact, the boys on the other side of the shop were whining because they were looking at this all day and it was kind of bright. But they can deal with that for a while. Actually, I don't know why I had the lights on, maybe just to irritate them a little bit. So the point here is, before you start your LED lighting project, map it out a little bit and decide what you need. Will a single output on your power switch be enough? One strip of lights. Uh, how long will that strip of lights have to be is another decision you have to make. Do you want to buy colored lights or disco lights? All those options are out there. Do they make... Uh, three outputs on the switches? I have no idea. Do you need to order something like this proximity switch that I added? I got a little piece of angle right here. When that goes underneath that proximity switch, the light goes off. Do you need mercury switches or other types of micro switches for your project? Uh, in the case of this one, plug and play from the transformer to the power switch 
Then from the power switch it goes to the proximity switch, from the proximity switch to the LED light strip. So map that out, decide what you need. This kit with all these extra pieces, that was, ec that was extra. That did not come with a standard kit. So you have to see what they're offering and how it lines up with your project. That's really all I have for the LED light strips. I guess my point was just to figure out what you want to do before you order the parts. If you got to this video through YouTube and not through my blog, why don't you check it out at thegreasyshoprag.blogspot.com. Uh, thanks for watching. Later.